So you're creating loads of content, you are absolutely plastering it across all of the internet, you're growing your online presence, but one of the things we want to talk about is opportunity. And the opportunity is not only monetization, some of that opportunity is PR finding you. So today we've brought in a PR legend, grade A legend, yes you Christelle, you, 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 uh, to talk about how you make sure your content is ready for journalists to find it. That's what we're talking about. Is that all right, Christelle? That is absolutely fine, Alan. Thank you so much for that awesome introduction. You're far too kind. No, um, no, I only <laughs> ever speak the truth. You're a legend. That's why we've got you here. But uh, yeah. As, as are you guys, as are you both. Thank you. <laughs> um, so really just, I think just to go on to this, a lot of the clients that I speak to are struggling with whether or not they can afford to hire a PR or actually do they have the time to do it themselves. And I think this is a really good question because ultimately um, for me and similarly to what you guys do is how do we set a really good solid base of work uh, for your comms? How are you getting yourself out there? How are you getting visible uh, for your customers mainly? But I think what people fail to realise is that the internet is where journalists and social media particularly is where like journalists like to search for their stories. Now, not all of them. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I, I, we, we have right. I am flabbergasted regularly by clients who seem to not realise that once their stuff's on the internet, anybody can find it. You know, we, 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 we cross this bridge regularly. You know, so yeah. And actually, you know, we don't do enough tracking. I know you guys talk about it, like how Google Analytics, like how are people finding you? You need to find out where you're getting the most interaction, which social media platforms, what blog posts are you sharing that are going out there? And um, a lot of the times, I'll look at a client's plan or what they're trying to achieve and they don't have the money or they don't have the resources but this is where your social media and your activity can actually help you um it's not about posting out just the content when you're writing your plan what I like to do is say right what are the topics of conversation like look at google alerts like google news like google trends you can have a look and see what news articles are coming out what are people writing about how are they writing about it and you can sort of um put that content plan put that into your content plan so for example if you're into health and you know that you know back pain is one of like the most searched terms that people are looking for and you know that there are articles coming up on that and oh look at that you've either got a solution right there if you're putting that keywords seo search um writing that content putting it on there making sure the hashtags are on there and you're getting really good um sort of engagement around it or you particularly you're using that content to perhaps reach out to journalists you've got that blog you can see what they're writing a lot of them we talk about twitter i know that we said you know there is that way of finding it but there's two ways of working you know they're looking to see through keywords and hashtags um or they might just ask you know just uh, put a hashtag journal request out but i've had clients that have worked solidly on instagram and they're writing the right keywords and they're I don't know, putting something like hashtag luxury. And lo and behold, they get an inquiry from the FT. It's like, actually, can you tell me, you talk about this luxury package, would you be, you know, can you give us more information? And straight away, you've got a freelancer there that's found your your content and they're interested in using you. So for yeah. me, there's so much that you can be putting into your content plan, a bit more thought about that. Look at Google, like look at the trends, look at Google News, like what are the key topics that are going on there? Um, I love a good old like calendar. <laughs> so, you know, one of my favorites is Janet, Janet Murray. She looks at Awareness Day. She looks at campaigns that are happening. So again, if you're part of that campaign, are you using those keywords into your content, into your uh, planning? write that content around there so that when journalists are looking for information they'll be they'll, they'll find you in that in that respect and yeah. so you know instagram and you know all of the channels when you think about it instagram linkedin uh twitter that's where they they may be so making sure that you follow them just as much and you're engaging on their content 
they're going to see what you're writing about. I, I think that's fascinating. It's one of the things we forget in life that we're all just humans, right? So these these humans, they'll be on Instagram, they'll be on Twitter, they'll be on TikTok. Um, we had a mega uh, PR win on um, trending news once. I'm sure we've told you this before. Um, it was about dogs at weddings. So Emily and I used to be in the wedding industry. We left it after a decade back in November. And um, we, yeah, there was a news article at dogs at wedding. Emily smashed out a blog, smashed out a blog, wrote a blog lovingly, um, optimized it for SEO got picked up by the BBC and then was interviewed on Dogs at Weddings. So yeah, these things absolutely do happen. So yeah, I think that's I think that's fab and and so on point. You know, just being aware of we talk about. I'm sorry, Christelle, I'm going off on one. Stand by, everyone. Yeah, <laughs> we need an explosion always. And um, we talk about building yourself up to being the key person in your industry, right? That's not about going, hi, check me out, I'm the big Don. But it is about making sure you know what's going on. You are the person to speak to about what your industry, your market and everything else. And understanding what's going on in the news and becoming a social commentator on it is very important because you don't know who's going to be picking it up at any point, absolutely. No, absolutely. And I think people shy away from it and this is the whole point of what you're trying to get people to do is just to be step up be a bit more visible if you want to be a leader in what you're trying to do you're gonna have to have those conversations and you know like in the old days do you remember in the days before it was all zoom where we used to back go in the day <laughs> back in the day but you know there was that networking event and you would see sort of like someone else in your industry you'd have a conversation you go oh, i like what you're doing i like what you're doing and you know if you're really nice you would support each other on social or you would see them and you you know you would want to learn from each other or collaborate with each other it's easily done win-win yeah. but you know in the in the world of digital it's like that to me is where um you, you're you're able to shine a light on what your customers are uh wanting what they're requiring and where that success is so where the industry was then all of a sudden the people that are leading the industry want to hear from those experiences and they want to bring you up to talk about that and that's where the journalists are following because whatever sector you're in that poor journalist does not have time to be you know an industry expert in every topic that they're reviewing so they go to the industry to see oh who's talking who's being featured who's who's commenting who's showing that they've got a good stu study or an argument there or whatever it may be so that they can interview them just as much so i think that's like you know by being more active by being more social and more on trend and on topic with your content you're able to get noticed and it's not just necessarily media but industry as well and i think that is I think that's really important because when we talk about PR, and we don't talk about PR how you talk about PR, we talk about it from opportunity perspective. When we talk about PR, it isn't just appearing in a in a in the press in the media. It's not about that. It's bigger than that. It's about your thought and leader pieces. Anyway, um, something you said made me think of something. If I can just cover this off, you talked about old school networking, PZ, pre-Zoom, and um, you know, how you would talk and follow. And then you talked about your followers on social media. So here's my question to you watching this today. Do you know all of your followers? So you've put effort into your chosen account. You've got followers, hopefully, you know, a few hundred, few thousand. Who are they? Who's following you? Have you actually said hello to them all? Um, we've got this thing at the moment where we treat our Instagram following almost like our networking Rolodex, right? So we, we, we are big on digital, that's what we talk about. So now we treat our Instagram followers like our Rolodex. We say hello to everyone, we have a look what they're doing, we go through and see what they're up to just like you would in IRL. In, we're all about the acronyms today. I like PZ, I don't like PZ. IRL. Yeah, I like PZ. PZ. Yeah. <laughs> Bring back, I like, oh, the good old PZ days. Um, right, anyway. Right, Christelle, I'm, I'm gonna wrap up if that's all right. I wanna thank you so much for sharing that with us. I think that's absolutely spot on. Be aware of what's going, of course it's spot on, it came from you, you're a legend. Um, you know, be aware of what's going on create content about it, work out who's following you and, you know, get it out there. That's it. Um, as always, thank you for watching today. We truly appreciate that you watch our videos. Do give us a like, a subscribe, a share, a comment. We love that as well. Have a fab
that day and get creating that news relevant content always. Bye.